Welcome to Tributes, Songs for Neil, Volume 1, The Movie. Produced for Rush Fest Scotland, released 12th September 2020, on what would have been Neil Pierce's 68th birthday. I'm Steve Brown, founder of Rush Fest Scotland and producer of this album. Rush Fest Scotland is an annual event for fans of arguably the best band in the world, Rush. All profits from our events, merchandise and releases such as this tribute album go to charity. And to date we have donated over £50,000, that's 65,000 US dollars or 85,000 Canadian, thanks to the incredible generosity of Rush fans. This album was conceived in June 2020 and consists of Rush songs played by Rush tribute bands from around the world. Drummer Neil Peart's passing in January of this year was a shock to us all, and this album is just one expression of our love for that man and all things Rush. This movie is a playthrough of the entire album, using videos from each band, with introductions to each song from the bands themselves. For information about each band, and of course to buy your copy of this tribute album, please head to rushfestscotland.co.uk. First up, we have Far Cry by The McAllen Project. This band was brought together online during Covid lockdown here in Scotland and we have still never been in the same room together. So grab your favourite libation, crank the volume, sit back and enjoy. Rush on.
That was the Macallan Project from Scotland with their version of Far Cry. Next up, we have Jacob Moon from Toronto in Canada and his interpretation of subdivisions. What you're going to see is the famous video from Rooftop, which uh, Jacob made in 2008 and it went viral. Uh, and I'm pretty sure that's how most of us Rush fans first came to know about Jacob. He's a fantastic original singer-songwriter as well. He's got quite a few albums out of original material and uh, at least one album of covers and it is outstanding. So please get a chance to check that out. Um, all the bands, all the details of the bands, if they're not on screen already, go to the rushfestscotland.co.uk website and uh, details of all the bands and links to their websites will be on there. But uh, before the uh, Jacob's rooftop video, we're going to have a few words from Jacob himself. And uh, the rooftop video is, uh, I believe, a live performance. Uh, the version on our album is a studio recording, um, which just sounds amazing. So anyway, without any further ado, I'll pass you over to Jacob. Hey guys, Jacob Moon here, and uh, great to be included on this collection of songs by the great Neil Peart. Um, tragically, we lost him this year, but we all are still thinking about him and thinking about his life and thinking about the legacy that he's left us. And uh, surely if we just dig into his songs, um, there's, there's still so much more to pull out of them. And um, a song like Subdivisions um, is one for the ages. And there's a reason why I never get sick of playing it. It's because it's just got layer upon layer of meaning and nuance. And um, those are the kinds of songs that are timeless. And uh, that's what Neil did. He wrote timeless lyrics um, for a band that is uh, still as current and as vital as ever, even though they're not touring anymore. Um, so uh, thank you, Neil, for giving us your gifts and your talents. And uh, thanks to Steve Brown for putting this project together. It's an honor to be part of it. Subdivisions.
moths we drift into the city the time is for attraction cruising for the action lit up like a firefly just to feel a living life some will sell their dreams for small desires or lose the race to rats Caught into game traps we Start to dream of somewhere to relax the restless flight Somewhere out of memory Lighted streets on a quiet night In the high school halls In the shopping malls Cast out in the basement bars, in the backs of cars, we could be cast out. We could be cast out. Any escape might help. To the unattractive truth But the suburbs have no charms To soothe the restless dreams of you So there we go, that was Jacob and his uh, incredible subdivisions. Next up, we have from Montreal, fellow Canadians, uh, New World Men uh, and their great rendition of The Trees. Uh, New World Men are a three piece, and uh, but what's even more fantastic about these guys, the drummer sings. Incredible. Um, and also, this track was mixed by a chap called Dennis, uh, whose name uh, escapes me, and I feel bad for that. But anyway, this is semi live. And um, yeah, who, who's, who's actually worked on mixing some of Rush's own material, so they have a connection there. Um, so, uh, just before you see The Trees by New World Men, we've got a few words from the drummer, Matt. Hey guys, this is Matt from New World Man, the sound of Rush, hailing from Montreal, Canada. So what does Rush and Neil Peart mean to me and the boys? Um, I think it was a, you know, an obsession for all of us as teenagers. And as for me, it was certainly one with, uh, with the drums and the music. I remember taking all these tape cassettes and rewinding and rewinding and listening and tuning my ears and eventually managing to play all those amazing drum parts. And little did I know that more than 15 years later, I'd get to play these things live and sing those lyrics because I get to do both in You Well Man. 
And what do I think of this album? I think it's a great idea because we keep the Rush flame alive. We keep that music alive, even though the band has stopped. And uh, you guys are there because you want it and you support it. So we'll be there to provide it because that's what we do. And uh, that's it. I hope you guys uh, have an awesome day. And maybe we'll see you guys in one of our shows or one of our live streams. Ciao. There is unrest in the forest There is trouble with the trees For the maples want more sunlight And the oaks ignore their pleas
Next up, from Brazil, we have the incredible Felish with the wonderful singer Gabby Vassoni. Um, I found these guys and girl in uh, about a year or so ago online and uh, they were supposed to play Rush Fest Brazil uh, this year, this is 2020, back in March. And me and my friend were actually almost just about to step on the plane to head across and see Rush Fest, Rush Fest Brazil. Um, Marcos, one of the organisers, kindly got in touch and invited us across. Um, not all expenses paid, but uh, I, yeah, we were all ready to go across and catch up with Fleish and uh, another Brazilian band, Three Snow Dogs, who are coming up later. Um, so, yeah, we looked into the, the bands playing and Fleish are just phenomenal. Um, uh, Gabby's vocals brings a whole new beauty to to the Rush songs. They've actually recorded a whole album of Rush covers uh, called The Next Hemisphere and original material as well. So check them out, Fleish. Uh, so here they are with their beautiful rendition of The Garden. <laughs>
tribute band but a shameless self-promotion here um yeah this is one of the reasons why i started rush fest scotland and um, i was already in a rush tribute band and uh yes so we're called moving pictures and a uh, the song we have chosen to put on the album is after image but it's it's got a bit of a twist it's our own arrangement um i came up with the idea for the arrangement after the passing of a dear Dear Rush brother uh, and a, a fellow musician, John Eady, who tragically passed away suddenly at the end of November 2019. And uh, John played keyboards in another Scottish Rush tribute band, Clockwork Angels, who are coming up later on, uh, featuring John on keyboards. And uh, yeah, so after Image, uh, we all know what it's about, but it was written after the passing of. Uh, uh, a sound engineer um, that was close friend of Rush's and uh, yes yeah, so to me it, it kind of lent itself to be a ballad so myself and John uh, Owen the Power um, worked together and uh, we have this arrangement coming up but before that um, uh, Owen is going to say a few words so here's Owen Hey as Owen the Power uh, bass player, keyboard player and vocals for Moving Pictures, Scottish Rush Tribute Band. Um, Steve asked me to say something about what Neil meant to me and how I discovered them. Well, the music of Rush, the lyrics of Neil Peart have been an integral part of my life since I was 14. 
maybe well yours too. And I heard Hemispheres for the first time and was blown away. And the music was transcendent, it was inspirational. It was an instant serotonin hit, which in Neil's own words, made me want to go home and practice straight away. The way the three of them played the complexity, the subtlety, the anger and the beauty of what they created together, drove me then and continues to drive me now to be a better musician, to work on the details, whatever I play, uh, whether that's Rush or Bach or some daft Irish song. Eventually though, it was Neil's words that found their way under my skin. They had meaning which could be read and understood on multiple levels. Metaphors which struck home, ideas that resonated long after that incredible music fell silent and stayed with you. Composed so thoughtfully and sharpened and intensified by that extraordinary music. Those lyrics began to inform, to prompt questions, to suggest books to read, uh, to invite debate, to demand research and exploration. Uh, more often than not, though, they reassured. Here was someone who could, as if he could read your mind, consider the human condition in all its states, positive and negative, and crystallise it, preserve emotions and literary aspects and hold them up for us, an audience, in a way that allowed us to understand with clarity not only what he was thinking, but what we were. Neil, I will always be grateful to you for everything that you and your band your colleagues have given me the desire to create music, the desire to play and the absolute joy that has brought me over many, many years now. So, Neil, Slancha, and thank you. Suddenly you were gone From all the lives you left your mark upon I remember How we talked and drank into the misty dawn I hear the voices we ran by the water on the wet summer lawn I see the footprints I remember I feel the way you You know it's no good This is something that just can't be understood I remember The shouts of joy seeing fast through the woods I hear the echoes I learned your love for life I feel the way that you would 
I feel your presence I remember I feel the way you were I feel the way you can't be So, what do you think of that? Uh, we're very proud of it, and uh, we know uh, we have uh, Neil's family's blessing uh, to do this whole project. Um, I've been chatting online with Nancy, uh, Neil's sister, uh, who also does a lot of work for charity, and uh, she wishes us all the very best with our endeavours, and she's actually helping us with uh, some of the charity angles. So thanks very much to Nancy and our hearts go out to her and the family. Um, so next up we have from the US of A, Lotus Land. 
Um, I saw these guys in 2012 at Rush Corn in Toronto. They were the headlining band that year, and uh, they blew me away. Um, especially their rendition of Working Man. I remember uh, that was their encore that night, and uh, in the middle of Working Man, they, they spliced in a section of Roundabout by Yes, and uh, I'm sure we all know Yes is a big influence uh, on, on Rush and Chris Squire on Gary. Um, so yeah, I knew the guys, I've known the guys since 2012, and uh, yeah, they, they jumped at the chance to be on this album, and here is their incredible rendition of Cinderella Man.
Bob, Bob Chartrand on guitar. What a tone, man. What a tone. You got that sound. Um, in fact, using a Hughes and Kettner, I do believe, sir. <laughs> we both share the same amp. Um, okay, next up we have... He's checking. I should have had my specs on. Ah, yes. Another band from the USA. The Rush Tribute Project. Uh, playing the incredible rendition of The Pass. Um, so again, a three-piece. Uh, they, they have a, a holy grail. A Getty. They found a Getty. A great Getty. There can be only one Getty in proper Scottish Highlander style, uh, but uh, there are a few incredible mu musicians out there uh, that attempt and 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 can multitask very well, uh, and uh, the Rush Tribute pro Project uh, have, have one of those, they have a Getty, so um, before their video of the past, here's a few words from the band themselves. Hi, we're the Rush Tribute Project from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. And we're really excited to be part of this project. This is a, a really neat tribute to Neil, and we're really glad that we got invited to, uh, to take part. So we're very fortunate to have had Neil as part of this world. I'm very sorry he's gone, but he made the music world much better than it was. Uh, personally, he taught me how to play drums just by listening to the albums. Rush wouldn't have been Rush without him. And uh, we absolutely appreciate every everything Rush did over their long career. Um, I know, like for me personally, I, I um, learned to play guitar because of uh, my love for this band. So thank you. And it's made us do an irrational amount of practicing. <laughs>
Ah, incredible. So I don't know how you're watching this, if you're on Facebook or YouTube. Um, I think uh, YouTube will sound better. You can crank it through your some decent uh, hi-fi. Or maybe Facebook as well, you can. But yeah, that's the, the bass in that song was just really, really cutting through. So yeah, buy a copy of the album, CD or vinyl, and you'll hear this in all its glory. Um, next up we have, from Brazil, Three Snow Dogs. Um, as I mentioned earlier, myself and my friend Robert Black from Belfast were planning to go to Rushfest Brazil this year, uh, but Covid put the scuppers on that one. But health comes first, and um, but yeah, Gilson from Three Snow Dogs got in touch, and uh, they've actually recorded the whole Counterparts album. Those guys are incredible, and it sounds brilliant. So from that album, uh, they gave us Nobody's Hero. And uh, yeah, it's it's brilliant. Such a great recording, and again three piece. And uh, just before you see the video, hear a few words from three snow dogs himself. Hello, everybody. This is Gilson. I'm the drummer. This is Marcel, bassist and singer. This is Cesar Tancredo. I am the guitar player of three snow dogs, a Rush tribute band based in south of Brazil in a city known as Criciúma. Rush City because we have a huge amount of fans around here and especially for us Rush is kind of a natural force who pushes forward to be not only better musicians but with Neil's lyrics we got inspired to be better human beings every time we heard their songs the song we are about to perform was released as the third single from their 1993 album Counterparts and it deals with the nature of heroism, especially in the daily small actions suffered and practiced by anonymous heroes in comparison with the figure of the Hollywood hero we are used to. So we hope you enjoy our tribute. Cheers! Different in his sexuality. I went to his parties as a straight minority. He never seemed a threat to my masculinity. He only introduced me to a wider reality. As the years went by, we drifted apart. When I heard that he was gone, I found the shadow cross my.
to some live tracks. We have from Italy, La Villa Strangiato, with their rendition of Marathon. I, I first met the band in 2016, I think, when we brought them across to play Rushfest Scotland. They were our headlining band. Um, I think it was 2016. I may have been the year wrong, guys. But anyway, we uh, we had the pleasure of meeting them, and uh, they were phenomenal. Again, another three piece. They have a great Getty. Um, they they do their own. They're, they're a hard working band. They're probably the hardest working European Rush tribute band. Uh, I know for a fact they travel all over Europe, um, and they sound incredible. So uh, without any further ado, ladies and gentlemen, I give you La Villa Strangiato playing Marathon.
can make a most of the distance Pass you and the rest But you gotta lie From first to last The beauty's never fast Something always fine And now for something a bit extra special, um, Clockwork Angels, fellow Scots, um, mainly based in Glasgow, the Central Belt area, and uh, William Winsborough, of course, he's over in uh, in Falkirk, still Central Central Scotland. Um, five lovely, lovely guys. Uh, they've all become friends of ours over the years. Um, Moving Pictures, the other Scottish. Rush Tribute Band and Clockwork Angels, we work really well together. Um, uh, just we just do it. Uh, we tend to stick to more earlier material. Clockwork Angels do a bit more of the later stuff. Um, we try. We try. Anyway, we, we work really well together. Uh, and as I mentioned earlier, their uh, original keyboard player John Eady tragically passed away uh, in November last year. Um, so uh, these guys are extra special to us. Um, They've just recently announced uh, that they're, 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 they're going to carry on. Uh, they have another keyboard player um, with a family's blessing, and uh, so it's great news. Really, really good. Um, they're going to play "Losing It" uh, with a special guest violin player, Andrew Tahini, um, and it's wonderful. And you'll see our lovely John on keyboards in this video. Clockwork Angels playing "Losing It." Hi, Greg McMillan here. I'm the guitarist with Rush Tribute Band Clockwork Angels and we're based in Glasgow in Scotland. Just a few words from us to say um, we're really pleased and very proud to be part of the forthcoming album Tributes Songs for Neil Volume 1. Um, of course it's all about the professor himself, Mr Neil Peart. Uh, really hard to put into words just, just how good and how phenomenal his, his, his skills were as a drummer and obviously his, his major contribution to Rush, Rush not only with drawing but also with lyrics as well. Um, that alone, him alone, was enough for us to want to start to put together a Rush tribute band. Um, so I really hope you, you enjoy the album when, when it lands um, and our contribution from Clockwork Angels is in the form of a song called Losing It, which I'm sure you'll be familiar with. Um, we were privileged to be joined on this recording by Andrew Tahini who absolutely nailed the violin part. Uh, it's also quite a, a, a special recording for us in a lot of ways. Um, it's one of the final performances we, we have had um, with our dear departed Rush brother, um, John Eady, who's a lifelong friend as well. Um, so quite a special uh, recording for the band. 
really hope you enjoy it and hope you enjoy the whole album as well. It's uh, great, great to be part of it. Thanks a lot. Cheers.
was special. Next up, we have the Russians. The Russians are coming. But they're coming from the Netherlands. Uh, another five piece. Uh, I first met these guys. Oh, I can't remember the year. I'm going to say 2018. Yes. 2018, 2019. I should do my homework. Anyway, these guys came across from uh, Holland at the last minute. Um, our original headliners for Rush Fest Scotland uh, had to pull out at the last minute. Um, and so thanks to Alex Van Loon, our, uh, our number one uh, Dutch Rush fan, um, he put us in touch with the Russians. And they came across and they did a, an amazing job headlining Rush Fest Scotland that year. Um, and we've kept in touch and uh, ah, they, they, they've known their own tragedy. Um, Edwin, the original bass player that came across with them, he, is, he has passed away as well. Um, that's the thing, guys and girls, when, you, when you're lucky enough to, to, to live uh, a kind of longish life, um, you'll experience tragedy. And it's a horrible fact of life, um, and it's touched us all. Um, I'll, I'll mention now Angie, a dear friend of mine, who um, she, a, a fellow singer, song. We were in a band together. We wrote songs together. She passed away in January 2016. Um, she was close to Rush Fest Scotland. We always asked her to choose a charity. Um, uh, and, and one of our shirts that we have is called the Angie shirt. That's our, our generic main Rush Fest Scotland shirt. Check out our website for all the merch, um, including the shirt I'm wearing, the the Neil shirt, which oh I do have. I thought I was going to go. Here we go. Time for another shameless plug. Incredible design by Paul Tippett. This we brought this one out earlier this year in memory of of Neil, and. Uh, yeah, I think that is a stroke of genius to put that on the back. So yeah, um, go to our website for merch, uh, and there's the Angie shirt there as well. So all profit goes to cancer charities. So it's uh, a labour of love. Um, so the Russians, here they are with vital signs. <laughs> Everybody got reverse polarity 
performance there from the Russians. So next up, uh, all the way from sunny England, just south of the border, we have uh, one of the UK's top Rush tribute band, uh, Bravado. Three lovely guys. Ah, uh, oh, good grief, I, I can't believe I'm going to talk about tragedy again. But this, this night is about celebrating and celebrating lives and celebrating the, the joy that these guys have all given us. Um, Paul Piercy, the original guitarist in Bravado, uh, was tragically taken from us due to COVID a few months ago. Um, Paul had left Bravado a few years ago, uh, but I, when I first met the guys, uh, it was through Paul. I went down to see them play down in the Midlands years ago and uh, was blown away. Just a fantastic three-piece. And uh, Paul then left the band and went on to do more musical things. He's a guitar teacher. He played in a Thunder tribute band. Really, really nice guy. And it was that was a real shocker. Um, COVID took him a few months ago. Um, but here's Bravado. Um, we have Pod uh, on bass, keys and vocals. Dean on drums and the lovely Neil Smith on guitar uh, and here's their live version of Between the Wheels. This one's pretty special. This one's, uh, it's a live version but the guys didn't have a live video of them playing it so uh, a good friend of theirs and a, a chap who's also helping us out uh, with videos tonight, Ged Hayes, uh, who is a wizard with uh, video software and uh, photo software. Um, Ged Hayes has put this video together uh, of bravado playing between the wheels. Okay. Hi, this is Pod and Dean from Bravado Tribute to Rush uh, in Sheffield, the UK. We've just uh, we've just finished a rehearsal, uh, and uh, we've just been asked to say a few words about what uh, the passing and the life of Neil Peart means to us. Dean's our drummer. There was only, um, there was really only three drummers that meant anything to me when I was about 18 years old. Uh, apart from Neil, there was Roger from Queen and a drummer called Simon Phillips. And essentially, it was the Hemispheres album that changed everything for me. To, to be able to think that I could even attempt to play that uh, was beyond my comprehension. I never got to be as good looking and as cool as Roger and I never got to play as well as Neil but it's a good target <laughs> to get to really. Yeah even if we're in the gutter we are looking at the stars. We are looking at the stars <laughs> and uh, from my perspective from, from Neil is Neil is probably the only drummer you see if you looked at all rock drummers um, they had a you know some of them were, were wildly improvisational some of them were just doing what was needed and not much more you could think of loads of examples but the thing with Neil was um, the, the first thing was that he made his drum parts a part he made the drum parts, a, um, if you like, a fixed mm. thing. He made them a part of the song that everything he did added to the song in the same way as you would with a guitar part or a bass part. There was no kind of strumming along for a bit. It, it all had a purpose. And that's why the music was so, and it, it, it was, was so intricate, even when it appeared not to be. I think that's the thing with Hemispheres. Mm. I think, uh, even though my favourite album is permanent waves hemispheres was was uh, side one was a um, as a young drummer you, you couldn't comprehend how anyone could compose that on the drums mm. not only just to play it but actually like Potter just said to, to actually compose it it's it's an immense piece and it still stands up mm. as an immense piece of work indeed um, and so to be able to even scratch the surface of this fantastic music um, is an honour, yeah. uh, basically. And the, th the other thing that I think about about Neil as a as a rock drummer, um, just about every 
rock drummer you could probably think of was um, it was drummer and racing cars and girls and uh, drugs or drinking or being out all night and all the famous drummers were were, were were drums and those things and Neil was drums and intelligence and thoughtfulness and humanity and reading a book and it, he made it cool to to be a musician who had a brain yes. I mean obviously all of them and they're not the only ones in the world but they all were highly intelligent people who knew uh, what they wanted to get even if it took a while to achieve it but that but he made it cool to be a regular guy with a with an intellectual interest um, and a drummer and musician as well yeah yeah yes so there you go that's just a few thought and and I think through him Rush just about invented air drumming I mean before that who would want to be giving it that one it's like you know before that you might have a little bit in a like a one song by by a band i don't know queen or free or whoever and there'd be a bit where you go but oh that was a great bit but neil you could play his parts all the way along because they were a part and yes. and air drumming if, if 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 his legacy through rush to the world was just air drumming I don't know. I think maybe he'd be satisfied with that. I th I th well, I think uh, being a very humble man, as he obviously was, I think he probably would be. <laughs> you know. Well, that's there. You go. I mean, just a few thoughts. So, thank you from us. Yeah, um, and Neil also. Who? So you should know. Our Neil is behind the camera. Our guitar player Neil. Um, he won't come on the camera because he's hideously ugly. And um, enjoy this wonderful record. And he doesn't well. have his makeup. Enjoy this on. wonderful compilation. Um, um, and uh, from and thank you for yeah. um, contributing and giving to uh, Steve's uh, charity uh, efforts. Um, only good can come of that, and that's what music should be about. So, bye from us. Be safe, and we'll see you on the road. Bye bye.
was great. Ah, what a great video. Thanks, Ged. Okay, next up we have all the way from Motherwell, which is in Scotland. Um, you'll notice when you get the cover, the band's listed on the back. Uh, it gives like the track name, the band name, and where they're from. And it's all countries. Apart from when you get to this next track uh, by David King, and it says Motherwell. And not only that, the name of the track is Closer to the Dave. Um, when I was speaking to Hugh Sign, yes, Hugh Sign, who helped us with the cover. Um, he uh, he mentioned uh, how the band Rush always loved a little bit of whimsy in, uh, in, in most things that they do, including the artwork. Um, so, uh, so, so Hugh, originally this cover didn't have the hydrant on it, but Hugh said or suggested to add the hydrant to add a splash of colour um, to make it a bit more joyful and um, and then when we so we kept David King from Motherwell uh, and the title closer to the Dave because it's it's mainly it's an instrumental version you'll see it coming up I won't no well slight spoiler alert um, it's uh, it's mainly closer to the heart instrumental but with a few embellishments he's talked and tailed it and he's playing it beautifully on his PRS guitar. So without any further ado, ladies and gentlemen, here's David King playing Closer to the Dave. Hi guys, my name's David from Motherwell in Scotland and my contribution to the album is a mashup of a few Rush classics and it's called Closer to the Dave. I've been a fan of the band since around 1980. A friend of mine had been to see them at the Glasgow Apollo who was subsequently immortalised as part of the Glaswegian chorus on Closer to the Heart from Exit Stage Left. He gave me a copy of the Permanent Waves album and the rest is history as they say. I'm very proud to be part of this project as a tribute to a wonderful man, a wonderful lyricist and a wonderful drummer. I do hope you enjoy it. Take care.
how wonderful is that? So uplifting. Um, I was having a laugh with David the other week there, um, closer to the Dave, and some of you may have done this before, but you know, you take a word and you slot it into to some song titles. So you can imagine, you know, let's take some Rush songs and put Dave in there. Working Dave, in the Dave, Dave stand still. <laughs> oh aye, you can make your own up. Answers on a postcard, in your comments, go for it. And uh, I think my favourite one was Permanent Dave's. <laughs> Excellent. I know perm jokes, by the way. This is all natural lockdown. <laughs> Curlescence. Anyway, uh, last but by no means least, um, we have Time Stand Still. Not Dave Stand Still. Time Stand Still. God, my perm's falling out. Um, yeah, by far and near. Uh, now this is a lock another lockdown band, so we've kind of topped and tailed the album with lockdown bands. Um, this is Owen DePower, um, who's featured on two tracks already on the album. He's like the, the star of the album. Um, and his son, Nick, uh, who's playing 12-string guitar. And the wonderful Leone Jane Kennedy, who's a wonderful singer-songwriter in her own right. Please check out her sites. Her, her Facebook page is in original music. In fact, she's got a single coming out on October 1st, I do believe. Um, so, the last track on the album, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, and just before that, uh, you're going to have a few words from Leone herself. So, uh, thanks again. I'll see you just after this track. Hey guys, my name is Leone Jane Kennedy. I'm currently living in South London, working on my music after a long six months break during lockdown. I'm so happy to say that I was involved in the Tributes album in celebration of Neil Peart's life. Neil was someone who was a massive influence to me as well as Rush um, and I definitely wouldn't be the same musician without these guys. I'm so glad that people came together and like I said I'm, I'm so happy to be a part of it and I hope you all enjoy it. Congrats to everyone involved. my breath before I start off again Driven on without a moment to spend Pass an evening with a drink and a friend I let my skin get too thin I like to pause no matter what I pretend Like some pilgrim who learns to transcend Learns to live as if each step was the end Looking back, but I want to look around me now. See more of the people and the places that surround me now. Freeze this moment a little bit longer. Make each sensation a little bit stronger. Experience lives away Experience lives away Time stands still Turn my face to the sun Close my eyes Let my defenses down All those wounds that I can't get around Some captain whose ship runs aground. I can wait until the tide comes around. And I'm looking back, but I want to look around. See more of the 
people and the places that surround me now. Freeze this moment a little bit longer. Make each sensation a little bit stronger. Make each impression. slips away The innocent slips away Time stands still Time stands still Looking back, but I want to look around me now. See more of the people and the places that surround me now. And slips away. Time stands still. And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. Tributes, Songs for Neil, Volume 1, the movie. You've all had all 14 tracks there from bands from all over the world. Uh, that's the beauty of, of Rush. It appeals to anyone and everyone with a certain intelligence. Um, and the beauty of being able to put this album together, uh, what's kept me sane during lockdown, uh, it's kept me busy. And, uh, yeah, the fact that it's made by, I'll say amateurs, you know, some of them, some of them are not amateurs. Well, without blowing my own trombone, uh, that, this is what I do for a living, I, mean, I'm a, I'm a, I play music for a living. Mainly weddings and that sort of thing. Um, but during lockdown, I've had nothing to do. But anyway, I've had this to do. This has been great, putting this album together. Uh, but my point being, this you know, it's not big name bands. It's no, there's no celebrities on here. This album, it's it's a uh, it's a real labour of love by all the musicians involved because everyone's taking time out to try and uh, and learn these songs and uh, in the process hone their own craft, hone their own musicianship, um, uh, and even the artwork. Artwork is tributes. You know, Charlie Roy, his portraits, his artwork. Uh, are phenomenal um, so yeah I'm very very proud of this it's all come together very well and uh, please buy it so you can you can download you know, buy the CD the vinyl will be out in November check out the website and the merch and again everything we do we do for you no not that Canadian everything we do all profit goes to charity so thanks very much for, for your time tonight uh, these videos will be left up for a while yet, so uh, 
yeah, please spread the joy and take care folks, stay safe and rush on. Thank you.